in preprint. We have a couple of these that I want to make sure we put eyes on. I showed y'all the one out of Israel coming out about antibodies, uh, rather um, basically saying that people that were that got the virus, their immunity is better essentially than someone that got both jabs. So got the virus and recovered versus someone that got both jabs. Okay. There's another one that's coming up that is uh, is talking about some things, and uh, let's just let's just read the the info uh, here that I want to I want to show you guys. It's it's a very interesting. It's interesting, nonetheless. Let's let's just read it. So, you guys can of course see this. Um, it's out in preprint. Um, this is being done by I forget which university. Actually, let me get this real quick. Uh, which university was it that actually done it? It is uh, uh, UW Ma Madison. That's what it was. So this is what it says, and this is the abstract. SARS-CoV-2 variant might cause high viral loads. Um, Delta variant, this is the Delta variant, is highly transmissible and contains mutations that confer partial immune escape. Outbreak investigations suggest that vaccinated persons can spread Delta. No shit. This is why what Leanna Wynn was talking about is stupid. We compare uh, RT-PCR cycle threshold data from uh, almost 700 to so 699 swab specimens uh, collected in Wisconsin on the 29th of June through July 31st. We tested it with qualitative uh, assay, assay, that's what I'm going to say, assay, um, by a single contract laboratory. So specimens for residents of 36 counties, most in uh, southern and southeastern Wisconsin, and 81% of cases were not associated with an outbreak. During this time, estimated prevalence uh, of Delta variants in Wisconsin increased from 69% to over 95%. Vaccination status was determined via self-reporting and state immunization records. So this is what they observe here. And uh, this is more of the important one. So low CT values were detected in vaccinated people regardless of symptoms at the time of testing. CT values below 25 were detected in 7 of 24 unvaccinated as well and 9 of 11 fully vaccinated asymptomatic individuals. And 158 of 232 unvaccinated at 68%. And uh, 156 of 225 fully vaccinated um, symptomatic individuals. Uh, time from symptom onset to testing did not vary by vaccination status. Combined with other studies, these data indicate that vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals infected with Delta might transmit infection. Importantly, we showed that infectious SARS-CoV-2 is frequently found even in vaccinated persons with specimen CD values are low. The inclusion of viruses from Pango lineages and multiple counties without linking outbreak indicate that Delta lineage SARS-CoV-2 can achieve low CT values consistent with transmissibility in fully vaccinated individuals across a range of settings. Vaccinated and unvaccinated persons should get tested when it's symptomatic uh, or after close contact with someone suspected or confirmed. Continued adherence to non-pharmaceutical interventions during periods of high uh, community transmission to mitigate the spread, blah, 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 remain important for both vaccinated and unvaccinated individuals. So what is this saying in short? Like there's study after study after study that is confirming just because you are fucking vaccinated does not mean that you cannot spread this virus. The reason now look, this is, this isn't news, but the reason why that is so important is because you still have weirdos, including medical doctors spreading this nonsense as if them getting it means that they can't spread it. And therefore they legitimize any aggression that they want to use to stop unvaccinated people from moving or force them into a vaccination status. 
one of the main leading things has been, well, you don't put someone in danger like what New York City is doing right now. If you're vaccinated, you can go do shit. If you're not vaccinated, you can't. So the idea is that we get to participate in society because we're not putting people at risk. That is simply not true according to their own data. You can get other people sick and you can spread it. If any, if the, if the, now if the vaccine worked like you claim that it would, well, you wouldn't even be worried about unvaccinated people because you're protected, right? It's almost if it's not, I don't want to get into that. All I'm saying is that there's multiple studies that show this to be the fact. Yet we still allow these quacks to have these conversations as if they can't spread it. But you can. So this whole pandemic of the unvaccinated is bullshit. Now, if you wanted to go a route of, well, these people might get sick and they might get severely sick if they don't get the vaccine, because that's what it really would amount to is a symptom mitigator. Well, that's the risk for them. That's the risk for them to assume. And then you got to go pivot to the hospitals and say, well, they might be overwhelmed. Look, they've had a year and a half to uh, to try to get this shit on the road. Right. To get this shit maintained. Now y'all firing doctors for not being vaccinated. I, I, look, y'all got to retire that too. We're not trying to hear that. But mainly, on a serious note, this pandemic of the unvaccinated is something that you need to shut the hell up about. Because you can spread it. There's multiple studies showing that you, you can spread it. And then we have, of course, studies coming from uh, out of Israel suggesting that people that don't get it and recover, which is 99% of most people that get this, by the way, they get it and re they don't get the vaccine, but get COVID and recover. Seems like their their immunity is going to be better off than you getting your triple fucking booster shot. Um, I don't know. Later this year. Just shut up. That's all I ask. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at YouTube.com slash Young 59 and follow us over at Odyssey.com slash at Young 59 If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit ForCanonSake.com.